What if, Mario Kart 8 DX gets a booster driver pack, well surely they'll add another column in the character roster. Here's my wish list. None of the characters are numbered, hence why this isn't a ranked list. They're just arranged out a certain order, depending on the row they should be placed in. We're starting at the top with, Pauline. Pauline was the first woman to be rescued by Mario with her first appearance being in the 1981 arcade game, Donkey Kong. Some people may remember her, others probably didn't, but when Super Mario Odyssey came out with its two songs sung by her, she became more famous and was featured in other games like Mario Golf Super Rush, and even Mario Kart Tour. Nintendo might as well put her in this game too. And that is why Pauline should be placed in the same row as Mario. Our next character is one that many fans including myself want to make a comeback so bad. Birdo, one of the several characters whose first Mario Kart appearance was Double Dash. Birdo's partner in Double Dash was Yoshi, just because they're dinosaurs. Birdo should be on the same row as Yoshi, putting Mario and Yoshi and Pauline and Birdo on opposite sides. Then we have King Bob Bomb. He's another character who was also featured in Super Russian Tour. If they add him and Pauline to the package, there'll hardly be any reason to play Mario Kart Tour ever again. On the character selection screen, it's nice to see Bowser Jr. being added to the roster, despite being absent from the original Wii U release. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now, but there is something missing in this row. If you guessed Diddy Kong, you'd be right. Another character who more than deserves to make a return. I've always wondered why Nintendo didn't want to bring back Birdo and Diddy, but they brought us Pink Gold Peach. There's even a Hot Wheel with him driving a pipe frame, so they may as well add him to the game. He should be placed on the same row as DK, Bowser, and Junior. The next driver, is what's quite possibly the most popular in the Mario Kart Wii roster, Funky Khan. How could they add him to tour but not hate the looks? He looks so cool, with his shades, his bandana, his tank top and jeans. Funky Khan doesn't exactly fit well with the seven Koopalings but at least he's still in the same column as Diddy Khan. Final driver, is one who appeared in Double Dash, and sadly, never in another Mario Kart, ever again. Two words, P.T. Pablo. Now I'm just kidding, it's P.T. Piranha. He needs to return. I bet if we actually do get a booster driver pack, they'd still wouldn't bring him back, even after all these titles where P.T. was absent. Poor P.T. Piranha. I'm not sure if Nintendo is even interested doing a booster driver pack, but if they are, let's hope there won't be any more clone characters. There is one more thing I want to talk about is this. You can change the color of your Yoshi and Shy Guy, but you can't do the same for your Toad and Koopa. Why? Another thing they could is not only change the color of your Koopa Trooper, but also be able to play as Paratrooper with those same colors. Even without any possible driver DLC for 8 Deluxe, this roster already has more characters than Mario Kart Wii. If they added that extra column, it will lead to a total of 48 characters to choose from. If we count Paratrooper as one, then that's a grand total of 49 drivers in a single Mario Kart roster. Wow. I don't 100% expect Nintendo to pull off something like this, but it's something I would love to see. watching my predictions. Who do you think deserve to be in a booster driver pack for Mario Kart 8 that looks the most? Let me know in the comments section down below. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter.